rather disturbing thing has happened in the world of Catholic higher education, specifically in the United States. I'm referring to two universities, my own alma mater, the University of Notre Dame, and Georgetown University. Both of these universities seem to be struggling with their Catholic identity. That is, struggling to say, how are we Catholic, and at the same time, great universities? And I say this because both universities have made multiple missteps, especially in the area of abortion. Most recently, both universities have come under attack because they've invited pro-abortion speakers to their campus to either speak or to receive awards. In the case of the University of Notre Dame, they've invited Vice President Joe Biden to receive the Laetari Award. The Laetari Award is the most prestigious award the university bestows upon lay Catholics. It's the oldest award given to a lay American Catholic, and it's being given this year to Vice President Joe Biden, who has been very outspoken against many of the moral teachings of the Catholic Church, including abortion and same-sex marriage. In the case of Georgetown University, they've invited the president of Planned Parenthood to speak on their campus. Why is this so problematic, people might ask. I mean, isn't this uh, an area of free speech? Don't we want to promote dialogue and discussion? Well, no. And this is why I say this. Free speech is a great thing when we're talking about speaking things that are good, true, and beautiful. Free speech is not the ability to speak error, to speak that which is wrong, that which is evil. And that's where the two universities have made their mistakes. They've lost their Catholic identity. Because the very core of being Catholic comes this respect for all human life. The issue of abortion was discussed in the first century. The Didache, the writings of the Twelve Apostles, documents this and declares abortion to be wrong. And the Catholic Church views abortion to be such a serious and grave matter that anyone who procures an abortion or who assists with an abortion or even anyone who helps another person procure an abortion by something as simple as driving someone to an abortion clinic incurs the penalty of excommunication. Now, I know canon lawyers will say, well, there's some nuance to that. I'm speaking with broad strokes, and I understand that. My point, though, is that this is something taken very seriously by the Catholic Church. In the same way that a Christian university couldn't invite people to, who claimed that Christ was not divine and claimed to be Christian, a Catholic university can't be bestowing honors and allowing people who are speaking untruths to their university and say, we're still clinging to our Catholic identity. Because at the heart of a Catholic identity is this mission given to us by Christ. And the mission is to go and to make disciples of all nations, to proclaim the truth, to baptize people in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, and to announce to them all that Christ has taught. The issue with these two universities is they're failing in that mission. They're not announcing the gospel. Instead, they're bringing in points of view that are contrary to the gospel and then claiming that we're doing this in the spirit of free speech, academic freedom. The problem is these are not secular universities. They're Catholic universities. They're supposed to promote freedom of speech, certainly. Promote academic ideas and the academic interplay of ideas, certainly. But only with ideas that are true, not with ideas that are evil. And so both universities now find themselves not only under fire by the Catholic Church and the bishops, but they need to find, they find themselves in a position where they need to begin to reflect on their own identity and say, who are we as Catholic universities and what is our mission? And until they do that, it makes it very difficult for their fans and their alum, including myself, to say things such as, go Hoyas, or even, go Irish.